taking line. That feels like a dandy fish. Man, that's a heavy fish. That's a good tip right there. You know, I grabbed that net. That fish is still 126 feet away. But that feels like a big fish. It feels heavy. Hopefully I don't have another line. But uh, you got to be ready to land a big fish. You might get one shot at him. And that fish, he took off. And right now he's pulling more drag. He's just staying down. Oh, he's, he's just smoking the drag right now. That white minnow tube is working well today. Most of the bigger fish have been right at 52 feet. He's still 115 feet away. And he's determined to stay back there. I can't really move him. Just stand down and back. And shaking his head like crazy. Oh, he's running hard. I just lost all the line I gained. Now he's coming up in the water column below. He might be here getting ready to jump now. See, I'm going to try to keep him down. But notice here, when I'm keeping it down, I'm not aiming the rod at the fish. I'm still utilizing the play of the rod to cushion anything that's going on back there. But he definitely wants to jump. He's up on the surface. Oh, the other downriggers popped. I wonder if I'm into that. I might have a bunch of tackle here. He's, he's under one line. I can't tell which one. But this is part of it. You just got to fight through that. If you spend any time on charter boats, you know you can't worry about the tangle. You got to fight the fish through the tangle. Oh, there we go. I think he was under both rocks. There we go. Got him free, I think. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're free. Well, if we're free, we got off cheap right there. He's still 50 feet away. Oh, beautiful fish. He's huge. That's a huge king. Might not be huge. He's very large. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, that's a big fish. Oh, my gosh. I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if I had those lines at all. That's a huge fish. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he was, he's hooked right in the mouth. He wasn't getting away. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. He's exhausted. So am I. That's what my minnow tubes can do for you. Look at that fish. Match the hatch, catch the fish. And uh, that combo has been working all day long. The six inch fisheye dodger with that pearl white glow minnow tube right there. Um, man, we're tipping it with a little bit of sardine and, or a little bit of anchovy rather. And I don't know if you could see it. In fact, that hook is is dangerously close to my finger. But look at that, he just inhaled that. No hesitation whatsoever, no way you're gonna lose that fish. So, what an impressive king. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. I wanna share my latest set of lures with you guys today. I call them minnow tubes. We're out here at Lake Oroville, the primary forage in this lake is Japanese pond smelt. I got one here, check it out. Look at that minnow. See how slim the profile of that bait is? Well, if you're going to match this hatch, you need a lure that matches that slim profile, and that's what caused me to come up with the idea of minnow tubes. Now, a few, a few months ago, I launched my, my shad tube sets, and they were very well received by anglers at Fish Impoundments that feature thread fin shad. They have a very shaddy profile, and you combine them with a dodger, absolutely dynamite. And these baits, the minnow tubes, they're equally as effective as the shad tubes, but they're designed to catch fish at lakes that feature Japanese pond smelt and other slim profile minnows. 
Now, in my kits, you're going to get three blades, a selection of number eight trebles, a bunch of glow beads, and you're going to get five tubes in five deadly colors. Here's the first color. This is my cornerstone color. This is Glow Pearl. Um, we've got several kinks on this today, up to about three pounds, 20 plus inches. Um, this one's my personal favorite right here. It is it is pearl sil silver glitter. It is a dynamite looking bait on land and in the water. If you get out, the water's a little stained. You want something with some extra flash, something the fish don't see a whole lot of. We've got a chart uh, chartreuse gold glitter tube. We've got a pink and pearl tube. Pretty standard colors for kings and rainbow trout. And finally, I wanted a dark tube. We came up with this dark blue uh, tube with a clear tail with some flake in it. So those are the five colors. And let me show you the Dodgers. These are exclusive to the Fish Hunt Shoot store. Um, you're gonna get three colors of our six inch fisheye Dodgers. These are slim profile Dodgers. They're very lightweight. Um, they work great between 1.8 and about 2.2 miles an hour. If you want to go slower, you can bend a little curve in them. They'll perform great at lower speeds too, but right out of the package, 1.8 to 2.2. You're going to get one of those in brass with the big eye. You're going to get one of those in hot orange with the big eye. And you're going to get one in chrome. That one has the big eye too. Um, the fisheye dodgers, they've proven to be effective for trout as well as for king salmon and uh, that is just a killer kit of lures whether you're fishing Oroville, Folsom Lake, anywhere you're imitating slim profile bait fish for rainbow trout or king salmon, minnow tubes will get it done for you. So click on over to the Fish Hunt Shoot store and uh, get your kit today. Get out on the water and you're going to be yelling fish on. FishHuntShoot.com offers a variety of tackle as well as rods and reels designed to get you on more and bigger fish. Check it out today at FishHuntShoot.com.